yeah uh, definitely and uh, uh, in the announcements that uh, apple made recently uh, the biggest impact to advertising is going to be changes that uh, got rolled out as a part of iOS 14 and specifically privacy settings around the IDFA uh, IDFA uh, for all of you who are listening in is that one identifier that is used for advertising uh, across the ecosystem this is the identifier that is used uh, for a lot of advertising purposes from basics of advertising uh, like frequency capping uh, fraud checks all the way to you know advanced uh, targeting and bidding uh, options across the ecosystem um, over the last few years uh, idfa has been the bedrock of uh, advertising on the ios side uh, with the changes that apple uh, is is kind of rolling out with ios 14 uh, 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 idfa uh, is going to be an opt in uh, which basically means that uh, a user has a capability to actually opt in to uh, provide his idfa for tracking uh, that particular user across applications uh, as of now apple uh, uh, gives this idfa for all these developers uh, they provide an api for the developers to access this uh, and they also provide a, a way in which a user can go ahead and limit that tracking uh, they used to do this across uh, all of these applications in the settings uh, it used to be termed as limit ad tracking um, and uh, we've seen about 20 percent of 15 to 20 percent of users uh, who limit ad tracking uh, go to their settings and and, and do this However, uh, what Apple with this release has done is every single app uh, before they collect IDFA need to get permissions from the user uh, and which clearly also states with a pop up that uh, has to be shown to the user that they will be collecting uh, this particular identifier for tracking the users across applications. Uh, now, without users opting into this particular uh, pop up, uh, if you say, um, uh, the, the companies cannot be actually accessing the IDFA. They cannot be using uh, that particular identifier for uh, any of the advertising use cases, including you know measurement, targeting, and tracking. So that's that's kind of the major change that uh, that comes in uh, with the rollout of iOS 14. Uh, 